Hello. Today's video is about the consummate victim. Some covert narcissists are what I call the consummate victim. They're always wronged, they're always the victim, and they're never at fault for anything. Here's some examples of their behavior. The narcissist says something cruel. You get angry. She claims she never meant to hurt you. She was just trying to help and had no idea that what she said would upset you. Or the narcissist tries to manipulate you into doing something you don't want to do. Naturally, you refuse to do it. She then asks, how could you refuse to do this one little thing, especially after all she's done for you? Or maybe the narcissist is an elderly parent who expects you to be at their beck and call. You tell your parents you're only available one day a week to do the things she needs. She then tells your family how you refuse to help her. They then attack you for being a bad son or daughter, ungrateful, a spoiled brat, and more. Narcissists who claim that life is unfair to them or they're mistreated when people confront them on their abusive behavior are also consummate victims. Those who blame their victims for their abusive behavior as well as those who complain about their problems yet refuse to do anything to improve the situation are also consummate victims. Dealing with these people is just so frustrating, I know. My late father and late mother-in-law were both covert narcissists and consummate victims. I repeatedly asked my father not to call after nine at night when I refused to take his call when he called at 10 o'clock one evening, he called my in-laws and one of my cousins who lives almost 500 miles away. He told them both that he was very concerned about me for not answering the phone, and he asked them to have me call him immediately. Another time I was angry with my mother-in-law because she had snooped through my purse and my coat pockets yet again when I was out of the room. She later asked my husband why I was angry and he told her. She claimed not to know that what she did would be upsetting to me. Both situa situations were pretty similar, really. As a result of their actions, my husband and I got into an argument about his mother, and my cousin and I got into an argument about my father. The narcissists both caused problems for me while making themselves look good and me look bad. There's some things you can do to help you if you must deal with this kind of behavior with covert narcissists. First, always rely on God to help you. He'll be glad to help you discern the truth and strengthen you to do whatever it is you need to do. Also remember the type of person you're dealing with. No matter what they do, this person will twist the situation around to make you look bad and make them look like the innocent victim of your cruelty. Expect nothing else because this person has no desire to behave any other way. Also remember, there's nothing wrong with you for setting boundaries, <clears throat> excuse me, or confronting this person on their abusive behavior. Both of these are very good things to do. They're healthy and they show that you have self-respect. Consummate victims are very skilled at recruiting flying monkeys. When you set those boundaries or confront the narcissist, no matter how gently and reasonably you do so, it's a safe bet that somebody's going to tell you that you're cruel, unreasonable, wrong, and whatever for doing so. When this happens, whatever the flying monkeys have to say, just ignore them. They don't know the truth and probably don't want to know the truth. It's best if you can just refuse to discuss the narcissist with them. And lastly, it's also very important to remember that the consummate victims sometimes project their abusive ways onto real victims. It can be kind of easy to get caught up in their lies because they're very good liars. To avoid doing this, remember that you are a normal person if you get angry about being abused or refusing to be manipulated. If you're, if you're faced with a covert narcissist who portrays herself as a consummate victim, you can cope. Now you have the knowledge and I hope the strength to handle this ugly situation. Thank you for watching my video.